All right, I think we got some happy pigs. I'm sweating really hard, see daddy? Hey guys, Steve here, Mason, Devin, we're Six Day Ranch. Beautiful is inside, she's getting ready. It's that time of month again. She leads a women's ministry or she's she helps lead a women's ministry here locally. And so she's gonna be doing that again today. We'll try to get her on video for you guys before she leaves. And I wanna show you guys one of the most recent problems and later on the solution to it. We've got all this feed. We've been buying it by the sack. We don't have a large uh, feed bin. And frankly, we're just not big enough to need one right now. Uh, but we do need something bigger than the galvanized uh, trash cans that we've been using for food storage. They're just not cutting it. And so right now, because we're going through so much feed because of these, uh, the meat chickens, you know, it's all these chickens that we've got right now that, that's eating up so much food. Um, we're on the home stretch though, guys. We're almost ready to process these chickens and we're probably gonna go ahead and process at least a few of them this week. And anyway, I wanna show you guys that we're gonna do some unboxing. Those feed bins that we ordered that we talked about in the last video finally came in and hopefully they work good and you guys will find out here shortly. First, we are going to go feed. I am going to go get the savings while they feed and water the rest of the animals. Probably good. Thank you, buddy. Hey guys, look who came and visited. <laughs> Beautiful is fixing to go off into town, like I said earlier. And uh, we love you. I love you. Love you, Dorothy. Be good. Love you, bud. Air hug. Air hug. Yeah. Yeah, we're already sweaty. It's gross and hot out here. See y'all soon. Okay. Love you. Be safe, babe. I can't wait to go inside. I don't know. We still got a little ways, man. Look at that. Everybody's fed and happy. Right, guys so we got it put together it wasn't that painful a uh, little crooked on the base but we could tweak that a little bit just by loosening up the bolts and, and retightening them once they're straight um, this top piece just literally just sits inside on top of this this uh, uh, metal base as my man Mason showing you here it's got a rubber kind of like what an ice chest uses to open and close look at how much space there is in there guys it's not a bad design at all and then of course on the bottom you got your door here there's a little uh, thumb nut that comes here we already took it out but you basically lift that up fill up your bucket and this is tall enough for a five gallon bucket to fit underneath we'll try that in a minute uh, just for the heck of it but i think it's gonna work really good for us 
All right, so for now, we've got this in the front of the shop where we've been keeping the food. We may have to move it later. These are rated for outside use as well. My man Mason's pouring a bucket of food that we had left over from this morning in there just to check it out. All right, let's see. Does it fit? Yeah, it fits good. Well, you got to put it underneath it, bud. Yeah. Look at that. Man, that's much easier than scooping a whole bunch of food, isn't it? Yeah. We only had about four and a half bags of feed, but just for a frame of reference, we got four and a half bags of, and those are 50 pound sacks of feed in here. And that's about how much room's left. Do a little bucket test. Put the bucket underneath. Guys, that was about three, four seconds to fill up this five gallon bucket. I like it. All right, guys, it is hot. It's super hot out here. And so one of the things we like to do on a really hot day is help the pigs get cooled down because they get really hot too. And we don't want them just sitting out in the heat. So we like to come out, spray them with a hose. If you do that, don't get water in their ears. They can get ear infections. And it's always better to work from their legs up. If they're extremely hot or overheated, it can actually cause them to have some sort of a shock or I don't know if it's a heart attack or what, but supposedly it's pretty bad for them. It could even cause death. So be careful about that. Don't just shock them with really cold water, water kind of ease them into it. But as you guys will see in a minute, they love, love uh, some nice cool water on a hot day. Getting nice and clean and wet. And this is how we cool everybody off. Oh, watch the ears. Yeah, for those that don't know, you don't want to spray water in their ears because it can cause them to get ear infections and things like that they're prone to. Make a little bit of mud to cool off in. It's way too hot today. Gonna cool off Mason? Look, look. Gotta cool off Mason too, guys. How's that, buddy? I'm gonna, oh, look, I'm gonna spray it up here so it comes down. Oh yeah, it's like it's raining. It does feel good. All right. All right I think we got some happy pigs. All right, guys, that's all we got for today. Smash that like and subscribe button. We appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Thanks for the support. Y'all have a good day and stay cool. And we're going to find a way to get the heck out of this heat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.